What's up YouTube? I'm Brett from Rants R Us. As always guys, if y'all enjoy our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Uh, we're on the road to 1,000 guys, and if y'all enjoy our content, please feel free to hit that subscribe button so that we can bring y'all future content. Uh, now, I, before I make this video, I just want to be clear. This has nothing to do with right versus left or any of those things. I, I, uh, I just want to talk about Pedro Pascal's comments about Trump supporters uh, that he made on Instagram and what that, uh, what that comment might entail for him in season three. Because let's face it, whether you love it or love or hate Donald Trump, this isn't exactly good publicity for um, for Disney and for the Mandalorian or Pedro Pascal. So this might be a sign that maybe Pedro Pascal intends on moving on from the Mandalorian after season three, and it might just be his parting gift to Disney as to uh, as to uh, pick up the pieces from his uh, his Instagram blunder that he that he did delete uh, but I, I just want to talk about this uh, uh, Pedro Pascal it compares Trump supporters to conf the Confederate States of America as well as Nazis which I'm from the South so I will say this uh, I say screw him in the way of comparing uh, Confederate soldiers that were mostly just farmers that you can say well you can talk about the Civil War in whatever way you want but you have to admit one thing uh, most of the people that fought in the Civil War didn't own slaves and were just doing what people that uh, peasants do during wars they fight battles to preserve their lives and their families lives so comparing them I feel like comparing uh, Confederate soldiers to Nazis uh, is uh, it's not fair it's not right um, I don't feel like anybody really should be compared to Nazis to be honest with you except Nazis Nazis which there was you know I don't want to get into the political leanings of, of any of that, but this is something that kind of irks me from a personal standpoint. I feel like uh, Nazis killed millions upon millions of Jews and other people. Uh, they were responsible for a world war. I feel like any time that we compare people that we disagree with to Nazis, um, real Nazis that killed millions of people innocent people men women and children and we compare those to just people that we disagree with I feel like that undermines everything that they uh, it, it it takes away from the horrors of what the real Nazis actually did it makes it where in another generation or so the word Nazis, that term Nazi, will just be another word for people we disagree with. It won't have any meaning. It, the real, the real, um, the real horrors of what the Nazis actually did will be um, kind of like a, a subplot somewhere is off in there, and it's just going to be more about what uh you know it's just going to stand for people that we disagree with in a lot of different ways but that's just my take on it but anyways uh mandalorian actor uh pedro pascal took to instagram to compare supporters of president donald trump to confederate states of america as well as nazis pascal po uh pascal po posted a meme to his instagram which he is now deleted the meme reads losers in 1865 next to the battle flag of the Army of Northern Virginia. It then reads, Losers in 1945 next to the flag of Nazi Germany, officially called the flag of the German Reich. And then it finally reads, Losers in 2020 next to Make America Great Again hat. 
And as you can see here, you can see the flag. Uh, you can see his little post. Um, I'm in it, like I said, I'm interested in this not because of his uh, political statements or his politics. Like I said, it kind of, it irks me the wrong way when anybody compares anybody they disagree with to Nazis, unless you've killed millions of people, um, you you aren't even in the same boat. Uh, whether he, you might hate Trump, you might hate Obama, but they're not on that same level. And it's disrespectful, not just to them, to their supporters, or to uh, the people who died from the real Nazis to compare them that. But that aside, I feel like this gives a good sign that Pedro Pascal is not caring what fans of The Mandalorian think. Uh, because, let's face it, half of his viewership will be gone. Gone. Something that Disney and The Mandalorian just cannot afford right now. So it's either he made a terrible judgment blunder or either he uh, is stupid or either he doesn't care. Um, if in, in fact, he might have intentionally have done this as kind of a parting gift to Disney. Because let's face it, there's been rumors that he might not be back for season three. I feel like this right here actually gives a good reason for why he won't be back it might be uh, him I think this is his way of saying you know what I don't care about fans viewership because I'm not going to be here I've done my part on the Mandalorian and I'm leaving and Disney can just pick up the pieces now as a Star Wars fan when I saw when I heard of this post I was deeply deeply troubled because Star Wars The Mandalorian uh, on Disney Plus is the only thing that Star Wars has going for it. It is basically Star Wars on life support. You take away The Mandalorian and you take away Star Wars. So I feel like if The Mandalorian uh, loses its viewership and gets canceled because of Pedro Pascal's stupidity or his politics or his anything I take it as a personal offense as a Star Wars fan that he would completely destroy something that I love so deeply which is Star Wars uh, just because of his vitriol maybe towards Disney Star Wars fans Trump fans whoever it might be I don't care frankly it just it upsets me that Pedro Pascal cares so little about uh, the fans that he would do something like this that he would risk um, getting his this show canceled off air if the Mandalorian gets canceled off air let's face it uh, they might have that Obi-Wan series they might have you know whatever whatever in the future but uh, that ship might have parted uh, departed after these comments if the Mandalorian gets canceled there will be no excitement for any future Star Wars things. Like, uh, Disney's going to keep trying to push it. But if you keep pushing fans and starting to make fans angrier at you during these divisive times, you could, you could just completely ruin the franchise altogether. I'm really, uh, uh, I'm really, uh, it doesn't shock me. If Kathleen Kennedy would be for um, something like this but uh, it just makes me wonder what George Lucas probably thinks that something they that cared so deeply for uh, and something that just a couple of years ago was at its height it was gaining uh, fans it was a new generation of fans were being introduced to it with the prequel series and even the sequel series as bad as the sequel series was fans were being introduced to it and some fans enjoyed it uh, those movies it was not going as bad as the sequel series was in my opinion it wasn't going to kill the franchise but if they keep making these 
political moves, if they keep going towards this SJW garbage, they're going to lose fans of Star Wars. And that upsets me. It upsets me deeply as a fan because I don't want that. I don't care about these people's political or views towards anything. I only care about what happens in that galaxy far, far away. Other than that, they can put their junk on uh, Twitter and Facebook and whatever after they get done with their show. But for them to do it while being a part of this show, I'm very upset about that. Because let's face it, if you were if you were a um, uh, if you were employed by a company and you made some statement like that on your Facebook page, chances are you're going to be fired for that. You're going to be fired for making those comparisons, uh, and or at least you know what. To be honest with you, I almost kind of hope you would be fired for that. I know that's a terrible thing to say. But, you know, it, it shows that, you know, you know, after a while, uh, if I'm an employer, I would hope that I am. That's not people's opinions as much as it's people trying to rile up people. And those, to me, yes, you have your free speech and you, you, you should have the ability to say whatever you want. But when you are employed by a company, you do have to realize that everything that you do uh, looks bad to that company if it is taken in the wrong way. So when you make outlandish things like what it, what he's done here with this post, this Instagram post, you are being detrimental to the company. I'm not saying Pedro Pascal should be fired. I don't even care if he makes it on to uh, season three of The Mandalorian. I don't care if he goes on for another seven seasons with the Mandalorian. It doesn't matter to me. I have no personal animosity towards him except for the fact of I wish that an adult would act like an adult and know better. And if this is a shot towards Disney, fine. I don't like Disney either. I don't like Disney Star Wars either. But I do love Star Wars. And so if this is his parting blow that is the that is the death blow to Star Wars, I have a huge problem with Pedro Pascal. And I don't give a crap about his views. I don't care if I agree or disagree or whatever with his views. I don't care if any of y'all agree or disagree with any of his views. That's not the point. I just don't want this to be a death blow to Star Wars. That's it. That's it. So this bothers me. This upsets me. I I hate politics and things that I love. I, I wish politics would stay out of things. I don't want them in my sports. I don't want them in my Star Wars. I don't want them in the foods that I eat or my kids going to school or any of these kind of, kind of things. I don't want politics in anything. I only care about facts. I only care about fun. I don't care about uh, these random opinions of stars. At the end of the day, these stars need to realize this one thing. I have a four-year-old son. He pretends. Guess what? They're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70-year-old actors that do the exact same thing they do. Don't think that what they do in their pretend is any different than what my four-year-old son does in his pretend. That's how, to, that's how I don't want to make it sound like I am... Well, you know what? I'll just flat out say it. I am kind of undermining what they do. They're playing pretend. They're adults playing pretend, but yet they think that their voice is somehow above fans' voices or other people's voices, and then they want to ridicule people that they disagree with. I don't like that. I just don't like that. I want this out of. I want this corrosive nature out of. Not just America, but out of everything that we do, I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of seeing it on the news. I'm tired of seeing it in my Star Wars. I'm just tired of it all, to gen all in general. But anyways, this is Rants or Us. And I'm ranting today about this. I am actually ranting about this because it, uh, it's very upsetting to me. But anyways, guys, uh, let me know what y'all think. And y'all take care.